guys, this is Bailey with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a CMA report in eEdge. So to get started, we can go to the home page of MyKW and go into eEdge. You can do this by clicking on View Contacts in the eEdge control panel. This is going to bring us to our database. From here, we can click on the person we would like to send the CMA report to. This is going to bring you to the page where you can edit that contact's information, but if we go over to the far right, we have an option for more actions. If we click on that, we are going to select the third option down, which is send a CMA. This is going to bring up a window where we can start to create our report. Uh, we have the option to email this, download a PDF, or email and download the PDF. For today, I'm just going to download the PDF. And then we need to enter our property address information. So I have mine on a little notepad here. I'll go ahead and enter that. We'll enter the property address, the city, state, and zip. Down below, we can enter the numbers of beds and baths to pull up comparable properties. Um, we also, that's not required, but a price range is. So this listing looks like it's just under 200,000. So I'm gonna give us a little bit of a range to see what kind of properties show up. You can put in whatever price range you think is appropriate and then hit continue. All right, it does put together an introduction for you. Um, you can change, the, change this if you'd like. It basically says I've put together a home market evaluation for you. You'll see prices for active listings, sold listings, what have you. So definitely read through this and make any changes that you see fit. And then we can click continue. From here, we will choose three active listings to add to our report. So you can go by search criteria, which is um, in the area, which is going by the zip. Um, property type, you can choose single family. If this was a condo or some of the other type of property, you, you could choose one of those. Of course, beds and baths, and we have our price range in here. So I'm gonna scroll down and choose some a little bit closer to the price range that we all we actually have. Looks like these are all three bed, two bath, so I'll just pick these bottom three. Perfect, so once you've selected the active listings that you would like to compare the seller's property to, you can click continue. And now you're going to choose some sold listings. All right, and now I've selected three sold listings in the same zip code that are comparable to the property that um, the seller is selling. <laughs> so once we've selected those, we can go ahead and click continue. And now we have the option to put in a closing comment. So I would probably put in something like, thank you for reviewing this report. Please feel free to contact me with any questions or concerns. Oops. And it will put in your um, signature, so you don't need to add in like your photo or your contact information, that will be plugged in after. So we've added our closing message. Of course, you can add in anything else that you'd like. And now to finish, we can click preview. And this is a preview of our report. It's showing the property address, prepared for Bailey Smith, that's the contact that we selected, prepared by, that'll be us, our name. <laughs> And you can see our little intro there. We have our comparable properties listed here, and then our recently sold. And then of course, the price range you would put in would be the estimated value. This is a pretty big range, but I just wanted to see all the properties that were available. So of course you can put in something maybe a little bit smaller um, to show what this property is actually um, valued at. 
Here's my closing remarks. Thank you for reviewing this report. Please feel free to contact me with any questions or concerns. And then our signature, which we um, plugged into eEdge. So this looks good to go. I can now download the PDF. This will save to my computer. And I will go ahead and open that up so you guys can see it. And there we go, there's our CMA report. Just a nice little one pager that you can send to your clients. So that is it for today, creating a CMA report in eEdge. Thank you.